Victorian holiday destination and by the 1860s boasted a hundred bathing machines to help you get in the water without being seen. After all, a flash of ankle could have brought down the empire. Back in the modern day, we have found our campsite for the night. I'd be stopping about there if I were you. Well done. Brilliant. Good. Do we look square? Are we good? Um, or do I need to wiggle? I'd say you look good to me. Okay. Well, if I need to wiggle, we can come back on board. Look where you brought us. Look at this. A perfect place to enjoy the view and a well-earned glass of wine. We've got Pringles for snacks. Right, I'm going to be romantic and pretend to be a wine waiter, OK? Oh, OK. okay. You ready? Yep. Ah, oh, madame, uh, would you care for some wine? Uh, oui. Uh, what sort of wine do you like? Avez-vous un Sauvignon Blanc? Oh, thank God, me. Oh. Avez-vous un vin de blanc? We've got some white wine. Play. Oui. Oh. Fresh from the fridge. Hurrah. And screw tops, you don't even have to mess about with corks. Exactly. <laughs> Did you want it in the glass? <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Ooh, the table's a bit wobbly, so watch out for that. Well, it's not the only thing that'll be wobbly after a glass of this. Yeah. Mm. Cheers to Somerset. Cheers, my darling. Cheers. Well done for all that driving. Mm, thank you. Refreshed and refuelled, it feels like a good time to take a stroll and meet the neighbours. Hiya. Hello. You've got a little hidey hole up on your hand. <laughs> yeah, yes. It's fantastic. Yeah, do you want to have a look? Oh, yes, we'd please. love but to. Why not? Yes, you? thank you. Hello. Uh, hey. Hi, Hi hello. Uh, are you? I'm Paul, this is Suki. Hi, oh, yeah. Alex and Emma. Hi, Hi there, hello. Um, that's an unusual vehicle you have here. <laughs> it is, yeah. Yeah, we've gone for a, a bit of a different pop top to the usual option. We've gone for a scenic canvas, so it kind of opens all up so you can yes. spot birds to your heart's content. It's um, our, uh, peeping Tom device, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to have a look in. Have a look inside. Do you want to have a look inside? Yeah. Ooh. You go first. Oh, and you've put up a the beautiful won't take long, throw and small. everything. <laughs> but you've done it so nicely. So this presumably yeah. converts into a double bed? It does, yeah. So eventually this will be a big storage block here. Right, yes. Um, and then this whole thing just pulls out so it's kind of in line with the kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's a full-size mm -hmm. UK double. Nice. Yeah. Because the impressive thing is that Emma did everything in here <laughs> herself. Oh, really? Apart from the roof, that was professionals, but yeah. she did everything. It's a bit of a bodge job, but I'm getting there. It doesn't look anything like a bodge job to me. It's very impressive. Emma spent months watching online videos, learning how to convert the vehicle herself. Having paid £4,000 for a standard VW panel van, it only cost £6,000 to kit it out, which is pretty incredible. Looks pretty good. All it needs now is the right name. Have you named your van? Oh. Oh, this is a contentious topic. Yeah, it's yes. just back bad memories. Yeah. Because okay. actually, before we bought this one, we did buy a, a different van with the same model. Yes. Mm. Which we and named. It, yeah, it and had then a name. It, turned out to be a, a rust bucket that we had to return. Oh, so yeah. this is now effectively the van with no name. This is kind of... I'm afraid to name yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, we, we have a name for our van. OK, yeah. What, what is for? it? Uh, a Captain Narrow Squeak. <laughs> yeah, that's a great name. Great name. Yeah, great name. Good name. It, it's great that name. by night when it's a caped crusader fighting crime and emptying other people's chemical toilets. <laughs> and by day, it's Millie the Motorhome. <laughs> OK, yeah, nice. It. So what's the farthest you've taken this so far? Well, it's Wales? all relatively new to us. Um, yeah, Wales is probably the furthest we've mm. taken it so far, yeah, North but Wales. we'd love to take it down to the south of Europe and even across to, I think, oh. like Morocco. And... Specific, well, another one is um, we got it for um, Scandinavia because mm. we want to head. Where That's the dream trip. We thought the Northern Lights sat out of this and looking at the oh, Northern yes. Lights. Yeah, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Yeah. Leaving Emma and Alex behind, we continue our evening stroll up the cliffs to enjoy more of the view. 
Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Is that Western Supermare down there, I wonder? Look, is that cow the keeper of the church? Hi, hello. You haven't been word in the way of your shot there. No, 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 no. Sorry. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hello. Just, just trying to get a bird these, these jackdaws, trying to get them flying. It's pretty hard. I'm Martin. Oh, Martin. Hi, I'm Martin. Paul. This is Suki. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello there. I can show you. That's what I this afternoon. You just can't see him particularly well. That's the kestrel. Oh. Just, just a few minutes wow. ago. Oh, gosh, that's lovely. So how far away was that from, from actually? About, about where that bird is there now. Wow. The peregrine will be here but not often, a buzzard, uh -huh. uh, sparrowhawks. And do you have a favourite bird? I like the red kite. Yes, they are lovely. I do like the red kite. But I like them all. LB yes. LBJs, the best of all, little brown jobs. <laughs> 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 if you don't know what they are, call them an LBJ. We still have no supper. So we're going back down the hill to catch some fish and chips. Woohoo! What do you want to do? I still think eating in because when that sun dips, it yeah, will yeah, get... Yeah, yeah, let's go inside. For We've got most normal people. Table there fine. and yeah. everything's nearby. But for me, stuff. it will be cold. Not for you. Okay. Here we are. Mm, lovely smell. It still feels warm. Do you want any brown sauce? Uh, just ketchup? With, oh, sorry, sorry for the chips, yeah. I thought you were into the wine. Brown sauce would be lovely. As a glorious day opens in Western Supermare, parked in the shadow of the cliffs, we really are settling into life aboard Captain Narrow Squeak. Well, that was, um, yeah, that was a good night's sleep, actually. Uh, and uh, we were able to plug in the motor home to the electric supply. That makes a difference. You get the heat on and the lights on. And um, we had a good fish supper last night. And I think, we, you know, we're halfway through our adventure and we really get into it. It's time to make breakfast. And Paul proves as useful as a cardboard umbrella. Okay, do you want to try and get the frying pan out? Give you a little job to do? Okay. Keep you happy? This big one? Mm -hmm. oh. No, not that do casserole I have, dish. Do, I, well, the casserole dish is on top of the frying pan. So I, I I could, if I take that shelf out... No, don't take the shelf out, love. Just... <laughs> it's We just need the frying pan. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Right, you I, just sit down for a second. If I had a screwdriver, I could have that off in about ten minutes. <laughs> if I'm... You with the screwdriver would be a bloody first. There's no need to swear, this is a tight setting. I decide I can be more useful by not helping. And it's not long before Suki appears with our breakfast. Yeah. This is stunning, my lovely. You get a little sense of achievement having created breakfast in the space that big. Yes. It's good though, isn't it? Mm. Do you think there's something about the open air which makes eating something that you've cooked yourself even better? A great start to the day, which is going to see us meander inland once we've packed up, ready to go. Well, that was that was absolutely beautiful. Mm, that was delicious. It was lovely, wasn't it? It was gorgeous. Um, so, uh, well, as you did most of the cooking, uh, when it comes to the washing up, I suppose you should do it as well, just to see the job through. I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't don't say anything. I'll do it. Thank you. There are specialist companies who will, to your exact specifications, design your dream motorhome, which in my dream comes with a dishwasher so I don't have to do it. <laughs> 